the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force. It's an influential panel of experts. They announced that children should be routinely screened for mental health issues as early as eight years old. This even applies to kids who are not showing any signs or symptoms of a mental health problem. So what does this change for you and your family? Well, here to help us break it down, psychiatrist Dr. Sue Varma. So let's start with the top lines here. What, walk us through the recommendations, Doc, Dr. Varma. What are they suggesting that these pediatricians actually do? Yeah. So from age eight and above, we want to do anxiety screenings and age 12 and above, we want to do depression screenings. And the idea is that we want to catch symptoms of anxiety early, even in people or even in children who are not exhibiting signs. And the idea is that if we can catch it now, this can prevent adulthood, anxiety, depression, substance mm -hmm. abuse, chronic medical illnesses like diabetes and obesity. Mm -hmm. Well, what I mean, look, every kid has his or her ups and downs. What are the symptoms? Mm -hmm. What takes it to that next level? Yes. So you want to look in certain key areas. Academics, are the grades slipping? Social friendships, are they withdrawing and isolating? At home, is the hygiene down? Are they sleeping a lot? Are they losing interest and pleasure in the activities that they once used to? Are they complaining of a lot of unexplained medical symptoms? I have a headache, I have a stomach mm -hmm. ache, but we can't get to the bottom of it. So you really want to look at impairment in functioning. Is there a change in their baseline? So if your child does get flagged, um, I guess there's a couple questions. What should you do? And then there's the anxiety piece and then to me there's the what is the basis of that anxiety how do you get down to what the root is instead of just treating the anxiety portion yes so while I love the fact that primary care doctors pediatricians in this case are the ones who are going to screen but it's not a diagnosis right so you still need to see a behavioral health specialist to help you unpack what are all the details what are the triggers are there difficulties in home is the kid being bullied yeah. what is happening what are all the situational factors have you just moved to a new home is there a new school is there a transition? Mm -hmm. So I'm a big believer in understanding what is the root cause, because I don't like the idea of somebody just getting a diagnosis or even treatment or medications yeah. that they possibly don't need without figuring out what else is going on, including medical problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this okay. is the first step, not the last step. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank, thank you, Dr. Barber. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.